Hey guys, Boise here. Uh, in today's uh, tutorial, we're going to uh, set up uh, and show you how to use basic triggers. Uh, a trigger can be used to, to affect a number of things, um, but uh, what we're going to do now is, is set a time delay trigger for uh, some enemy aircraft bombing an airfield. Now I'm using uh, an enemy flight of aircraft that I set up in, in another video here. So if we zoom in a bit more, we'll see We've got a, a raid of uh, Blenheims attacking Hydroquent Airfield. Now I'll just go into the properties of this uh, raid so you can see what I've done to, to set it up. So uh, the group properties here will show you. We have six aircraft in the raid, so a flight of six here. You can have more or less as, as you desire. Uh, the formation, we've got them in a, a simple VIC formation. And the weapon set, if you click the, the three dots there, it will show you uh, what we've selected. In this case, we've got two 500 pound bombs in the central bomb bay. Um, we've also got here detonators default, uh, so we've got the general purpose uh, detonators here, you can have a, a delay on there and so on and so forth. On the waypoint you'll see what we've done here. So on the first waypoint, waypoint zero, uh, they're to be at normal flight at 500 metres. Uh, the next one is also normal flight because they're still approaching the target, again it's the same height and the same speed. Uh, the key thing is you'll see on the, the second waypoint, waypoint two, or indeed actually the third one, uh, that you've got here ground attack uh, the target. Uh, level bombing, uh, and uh, but again, th this here is the same. Uh, and also, as you go to the third point where they exit the target area, again, normal flight, same altitude, same speed. Once again, the same there. Okay, so that was all set up in a previous tutorial, but I uh, just wanted to refresh what we've done there. Now, what we're going to do now is create a trigger. Now, you might uh, say use them for a number of reasons, but what we're going to do is have a time delay here. So, you might create a mission where you want to give, I don't know, a five minute delay for the, the, the defending aircraft to get up or you might want to put a time delay so you have waves of aircraft attacking so one wave instantly one ten minutes later whatever you want to do you can do it so what we do here the first thing we need to do is tell this group of aircraft that it's going to be subject to a, a trigger so as you go to the group properties at the bottom you'll see script spawn so you're going to tell it it's going to, going to spawn against a, a script or a trigger so rather than spawning in immediately it's going to have to yeah, listen to uh, what the computer wants it to do once you've done that, we go to edit and we select script and you'll see here manage in-game scripts and triggers. Now you'll be presented with this uh, window here and you'll see you've got triggers, actions, script. Now for the purpose of this, we're only going to use the first, uh, the first two tabs here. So what you have to do is create your first trigger. Now with the name, you can call it what you wish, but the important thing is the name matches the action. So you have to have it matching. You can put bomber wave, spawn one, Blenheims. I'm just going to do one because it's very, very, very straightforward and will serve a purpose for this tutorial. So I've named it one, the trigger. Now you can select here what type of trigger you want. This is going to be a time delay as I mentioned, but you have other options. You could do group destroyed. So for example, you could have a wave of Blenheims attacking an airfield and when they're destroyed it will trigger and spawn another wave or even if only 50% of it's destroyed, there's quite a few options there. And the same principle with, with ground destroyed. Uh, if you have ground units, they, they get destroyed and then another wave will come in or whatever uh, and pass through you can set a, a point on the map that if an aircraft flies through it it will spawn aircraft so I don't know hypothetically you could have flying over to England and, and when your 109 passes through a certain point it will scramble hurricanes at an airfield in, in England you know you could do something like that but for here we're going to do a simple time one so we're going to select time and we're going to select a 30 second trigger so a 30 second delay so what this will do, will we'll delay the, the spawning in of those aircraft by 30 seconds. Okay, so we've named it, we've set the time we want, and we've put the time. This is always in seconds, by the way, so if you want to yeah, have it 5 minutes, 10 minutes, you have to do that in seconds. Okay, so actions. So we need to add an action, and as I mentioned, it must be the same as the trigger. So 1 will do the trick here, because that will match the trigger we've set. Now the type here, there's only one option, but this is going to air spawn the group of aircraft, which is exactly what we want. So we, we keep that as it is. Now action, we're going to tell the trigger what uh, what units are subject to this action. So we click the little uh, button there, and we hover the cursor over the units we want it to affect, and this time the Blenheim. So press it there, and that will now say that it's selected that. Okay, so just to recap, we've got a trigger named 1. There's a time trigger, 30 seconds a matching action name to air spawn the group and we've selected the group so we now press save. I'm just going to unselect that unit. Now let's do uh, scripts again to make sure it has saved properly so go back to triggers 1 TT time 30 seconds 1 air spawn group selected 
superb. Okay, so what we uh, what we do here, as I set up in the previous video, you need to have a, a player aircraft so you can actually load into the map and see what's going on uh, when you're in single player or just testing it. So the properties uh, was to have it spawn parked. It's uh, 109, by the way. Um, I've accidentally selected to have about a million of them on the airfield. Let's just change that away, so we'll keep it to one. Uh, the waypoint action is to have it in takeoff, obviously, because it's on the ground, and to click it as, as a player so that uh, it loads you in as a player and not as an AI. Okay, let's uh, give this a go and see what this does for okay, us. Okay, so if this has worked properly, we should see no aircraft on our right-hand side uh, for approximately 30 seconds. And what I'll do, I'm just going to time speed up a little bit, so uh, we're not here uh, waiting too long for it to come in. Just keep looking over there. There they go, they're spawned in. So you should be able to see they're possibly not on the video quality, but there's six aircraft. I'm going to go to external view and have a look at them. And here they are. So based on that simple trigger, they weren't there, now they're there 30 seconds later. Is we'll watch them do their do their thing. Uh, the flag is uh, bursting around them, which is quite cool. Now, of course, you could then do the same thing, set up a second wave, and have it trigger. I don't know, on 100 seconds, and you in effect have a second wave coming through fairly shortly afterwards. Uh, really, it's the same principle. It's just uh, extending the time and uh, making sure you uh, set it up properly, so you can see the the eggs have been uh, dropped. Let's see if they hit it this time. Explosions in the airfield, check out some of the parking bays there. Okay, so there you go, that's how you set up a, uh, a delay trigger based uh, spot for aircraft.